Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about SR2 T flip flop conversion in digital logic design course, STLD course and digital electronics course. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about 10 flip flop conversions. If anybody wants that conversions, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Divela Srinivasarao. Now, in this video, how to convert SR flip flop to T flip flop? To convert SR flip flop to T flip flop, we have to follow five steps. The first step is identify the available flip flop and required flip flop give from the given problem statement. So in the given problem statement, the given flip flop is called as available flip flop that is called as SR flip flop and the desired flip flop is T flip flop that can be called as required flip flop. So in the first step, identify the available flip flop and a required flip flop. So available flip flop is SR flip flop and a required flip flop is T flip flop. Then we can go for second step. In the second step, construct the characteristic table for the required flip flop. Here the required flip flop is T flip flop. For that one, we have to construct the characteristic table. So for constructing the characteristic table for a required flip-flop, T flip-flop, the T input can be considered as external input. So external input of the required flip-flop is only T. Next one, present state or a previous output can be denoted by Q of T and next state or a present output can be denoted by Q of T plus 1. So these first three columns represents the characteristic table. The characteristic table of a required flip flop that is a T flip flop represents the first three columns. The first column is external input of the required flip flop that is T. Second column is present state or a previous output of T flip flop that is Q of T. Third column next state or a present output of T flip flop that is Q of T plus 1. By using the first two columns T and Q of T we have to find out the Q of T plus 1 value. So here T and Q of T can be considered as input columns for finding out Q of T plus 1. So how many number of inputs? Two inputs are there T and Q of T. With the two inputs how many number of possible combinations? That is four possible input combinations that are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For each and every possible input combination, we have to find out the next state that is the Q of T plus 1. Here, T value 0 and Q of T value 0, then Q of T plus 1 value is also 0. Next, T value 0 and Q of T value is 1, then Q of T value is 1. Next, T value 1 and Q of T value 0 is nothing but Q of T plus 1 value is 1. Next, T value 1 and Q of T value 1, then Q of T plus 1 value is 0. Okay, so how we are getting this Q of T plus 1 value? If T value is 0, whatever the previous output is there, that previous output can be obtained as the present output. Here Q of T value 0 so that whenever T value is 0, Q of T plus 1 value becomes the 
q of t value so whenever t value is a zero whatever the q of t value is there that q of t value can be obtained as the q of t plus 1 value here q of t value 0 then q of t plus 1 value also 0 here t value is 0 whatever the q of t value is there that q of t value can be obtained as the q of t plus 1 value here q of t val value is 1 then q of t value q of t plus 1 value is also 1 whenever t value is 1 whatever the previous output that is q of t value that complement of that q of t value can be obtained as the q of t plus 1 value that means if t value is 1 the complement of q of t value becomes the q of t plus 1 value here q of t value 0 the complement of q of t value is becomes 1 that 1 is the q of t plus 1 value next one here t value is 1 q of t value is 1 the complement of q of t value becomes the q of t plus 1 value so here 1 complemented to 0 so this is the characteristic table of required clip flop that is a t now next we have to find out the clip flop inputs of the available clip flop so here what is the available clip flop sr clip flop what are the inputs are there in the sr clip flop s and r so s and r can be called as clip flop inputs okay to find out the s and r values we have to consider q of t column and q of t plus 1 column can be considered as input columns by using these two input columns we have to find out s and r value so the last three columns represents the excitation table excitation table of sr clip flop excitation table of sr clip flop okay now so q of t value is 0 and q of t plus 1 value 0 then s value 0 r value is don't care next one q of t value 1 and q of t plus 1 value 1 s value is uh, don't care r value is 0 next one q of t value 0 and q of t plus 1 value 1 then s value is 1 and r value is 0 next one q of t value 1 and q of t plus 1 value is 0 then it can be denoted as s value 0 and r value is a 1 so the last three columns represents the excitation table of sr flip flop the first three columns represents the characteristic table of required flip flop that is a t flip flop now then we so this is the excitation table of available flip flop becomes the step 3 characteristic table of required flip flop that is a t flip flop becomes the step 2 so first three columns represents the step 2 and the last three columns represents the step 3 okay now we can go for step 4 in the step 4 we have to find out the boolean expression for s and r by using carnap map so which carnap map we have to use to find out the boolean expression for this entire table the first two columns represents the input columns okay so that we have to use two variable carnap map for finding out the boolean expression for s and r now we have to find out the boolean expression for s for that one i am using two variable carnap map so this is the two variable carnap map what are the inputs are there t and q of t so this is a t and this is q of t so t can take either zero value or one value q of t can take either zero value 
or one value. Next, now consider S column because we have to find out the Boolean expression for yes. In the S column, where the don't cares and ones are present. Here don't care is present. The corresponding input combination is T value 0 and Q of T value 1. T value 0, Q of T value 1. We have to place don't care. Next one, here 1 is present. The corresponding input combination is T value 1 and Q of T value 0. T value 1 and Q of T value 0. So we are placing 1. Only single 1 and a single don't care is present. So 1 and don't care are present in the diagonal positions so that we cannot form it as a pin. So that only we have to consider single 1. Okay. So the single 1 is we have to ignore the don't care and we have to consider this is single 1. What is the single 1? Expression 1 and 0. Here 1 is nothing but t and 0 is nothing but q of t bar. t into q of t bar. This is the expression for yes. Now we have to find out the Boolean expression for r. So here we have to use two variable Carnap map t and q of t. t can take either 0 value or 1 value. q of t can take either 0 value or 1 value. To find out the Boolean expression for r, we have to consider r column. In that column, we have to consider don't cares and ones. Here don't care is present. The corresponding input combination is t value 0 and q of t value 0. So here t value 0, q of t value 0, we are placing don't care. Next one, here 1 is present. The corresponding input combination is t value 1 and q of t value 1. Here t value 1 and q of t value 1, we are placing 1. Here don't care and 1 are also present in the diagonal position. It is not possible to form as a pair 1 and don't care. So that only we are considering 1 and ignore the don't care. Okay. So for this 1 can be denoted as 1, 1. 1, 1 is nothing but the first one represents variable t and the second one represents variable q into t. So what is the expression we are getting? So t into q of t. So in the fourth step, we have to find out the Boolean expression for s and r by using these two input columns by using two variable corner map. Next, go to step 5, draw the circuit diagram. So in the circuit diagram, first we have to draw the block diagram of available flip-flop. Here the available flip-flop is SR flip-flop so that we have to first we have to draw the block diagram of available flip-flop. The available flip-flop is SR flip-flop. This is S and this is R and this is the output Q of T. Some books can be written as Q of N. So there is no problem at all. Q of N is nothing but Q of T. Q of T bar is nothing but Q of N bar. Okay. So this is the clock symbol. Now, what is the value of S? S is nothing but T into Q of T bar. So this is a T. Now I am taking Q of T bar. So this is the Q of T bar output. So this Q of T bar output can be sended to one and gate. The output of AND gate can be passed to S yes input. Okay. So this becomes T into Q of T bar. T into Q of T bar. Next one. R. What is the expression for R? 
t into q of t so this is the same t can be taken this one and q of t so here this q of t can be taken that can be send it to 1 and gate so the output of this and gate can be send it to r so this becomes t into q of t this is a t and this is a q of t these two inputs can be send it to and gate the output of and gate t into q of t is connected to r so this is the sr to t flip flop conversion circuit so this is the first step second and third step the first three columns represents the characteristic table of required flip flop that is t the last three columns represents the excitation table of sr flip flop now we have to find out the boolean expression for s and r by using two variable carnap map after that we have to draw the circuit diagram for sr to t flip flop conversion so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates after subscribing my youtube channel so divela srinivasa rao if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will clarify your doubts thank you thank you one and all for watching this video